So let's go ahead and write a shield management command. Uh, it's one that will be useful within Star Citizen uh, for sure. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and create a new command. So now I'm going to copy this in uh, and just walk through some of the info. So what we're actually going to say here is uh, increase uh, either of these directions, forward, rear, left, right, top, bottom, increase the direction shield power by and then uh, any number between 1 and 100 in increments of 5 so 5 10 35 70 whatever percentage we want uh, the commands within star citizen increment shields by a 5% uh, increment each time you hit the key so that uh, that'll be the best breakdown and we choose to do this as opposed to doing from 5 to 100 just as a blank range uh, because this limits the number of options uh, making voice attack run a little bit faster so we've got our command what we're gonna do is write a text value so this is gonna be input command and we're gonna do a couple of things here so first of all we're just copying it over uh, straight as the command there and now I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to do some text replacement. So, so I'm going to text replace the value we're replacing again, or the variable we're replacing from. And we're going to replace increase with blank. And we're going to trim spaces there. Uh, we're going to do the same for shield power by. Now these are all just pieces of the command that they're used to issue the command just for semantics, but uh, they aren't used as we actually execute. So I'm going to go ahead and modify that. So now our command, and let me copy this over into a notepad. All right, so our command as we execute it, now we're replacing the increase, that's going to be gone. Shield power by, that's also gone. And percent is gone as well. So that leaves us with the direction and the number of increments. So let's go ahead and we're going to export or have those written to the event log. All right. So now direction. And actually we'll before we do that we actually have to save them as such so we're gonna set the text value direction and we're gonna do just the uh, value as text from input command All right so this will actually strip out any numeric characters and we'll make sure we trim spaces there okay and we're going to set an integer value of loop. So this is how many times we're going to do that. We're going to do it based on text numbers. So taking a text string, looking at just the numeric portion. We're going to do input command. And then we are also going to do some math on it. So we actually want to divide that number by 5. And... Oh, had it there. So the integer value again, loop um, from another variable, sorry, text num of input command computed dividing by five. I hit OK. So there we go. Now we're going to write those to the event log to make sure we know what they're coming out as. So direction is set as and the text token for the variable direction as well as loop set as the integer variable value for loop. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Actually, I'll change that to red just so it stands out. Hit OK. And so we do have a large number of dynamic commands. We have six directions 
and 20 options for each. So it will give you this warning. 120 dynamic commands for this actually isn't too bad. Uh, I think it'll be uh, still well within control there. So we'll go ahead, hit done, and we'll give it a try just to see what we end up with. Increase power to left shield by 35%. Increase power to left shields by 